welcome to this video called Ideological Confrontations. An ideology is a theory or a belief which guides an individual, social movement, an institution, a class or a large group of individuals and includes a body of ideas which reflects the beliefs and the ideals and the interests of a nation or a political system. Now, in the 19th century, the Conservative Order was established in 1815, which was inspired by the desire of rulers to return to the past. The appeal of Enlightenment ideals never faded, nor did the promise of revolutionary reform. Those who challenged the restored order did so through a number of ideologies responding to the economic and political turmoil of that era. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the five key ideologies. The first being conservatism, the second being romanticism, the third being nationalism, the fourth being liberalism, and the fifth being socialism. Conservatism was an ideology which formed the foundation of Europe in 1815 because it expressed a return and the support of the monarchy, the aristocracy and a recognised church. Edmund Burke was a conservatist and he believed that the belief in human equality threatened the social order in society and therefore claimed that government should return to the old systems of the past because they had been proven useful before. Conservatism was also supported by many areas of society, including the lower classes, and this is believed to be because of its support for private life, a stable family, and the support of a patriarchal and hierarchical society, whereby the father or the husband was the controlling factor in all families. Romanticism was a cultural movement which was popular between the 1760s and the 1840s and it was based upon feelings, emotions and passions. Therefore it was something that was very popular in the art arena, including composers, painters and writers. And in the work that they produced, which they shared with the society, it focused on human energy, it focused on the value and the virtues of nature, and also the passion and the emotions that we humans all have. Romanticism also rediscovered the church as a crucial part of society because we were able to form an emotional bond and connection with religion, and romantics believed this benefited society. The third ideology was nationalism, and nationalism is the belief that as individuals we derive who we are, our identity, from our nation, and because of that we owe our nation our primary loyalty, and the extreme of loyalty to that nation is be willing to die for that nation. The criteria for nationhood is that there must be a shared common language, a shared common religion, a shared common political authority shared culture and a shared history and therefore that allows society to have a sense of love and passion for the beliefs and values which that country stands for. Now nationalism only became popular during the second half of the 19th century and that is because the majority of society at that time felt a sense of loyalty towards their local community rather than a sense of loyalty to their nation. And it is only because of propaganda and promotion of nationalism from nationalists and governments did society eventually come around to the idea of being proud of their whole country as one whole big group. Liberalism was a 19th century economical and political ideology. From an economic point of view, liberalists like Adam Smith believed that there should be no state regulation of the economy and that if businesses were able to set their own prices, the competition between the businesses would drive prices down, which would make items more affordable for all society. Therefore, the business make profits, society gets the benefits of the goods which have been sold, 
which taken as a whole would allow the expansion of wealth of all nations. From a political point of view, liberalists argued that the government should have a reduced role in how society is governed. Now, over time, liberalism has changed, and there are key foundations of liberalism which still stand true today, such as the focus on the rights of individuals, including the right of freedom of speech, freedom of association, equality of law, and the rule of law. And these foundations, over time, have been agreed with by conservatists and socialists who in the past have disagreed with these ideals. Socialism was a political, economical and social theory which came about in the 19th century. Socialists believed that in order to create a more just and fair society, that the state or the government should control all land, property and wealth, and that the government would be responsible for redistributing that wealth equally amongst its population. Socialism came about due to the harsh conditions which the lower classes faced in the workhouses and the places of employment during the Industrial Revolution. To summarize, the five ideologies of the 19th century were conservatism, romanticism, nationalism, liberalism and socialism. Conservatism being the key one, talking about the restoration of the old system and preserving structure and hierarchy. Romanticism, challenging this by talking and believing about passion and human emotion. Romanticism then influencing nationalism, which believed in a love for one's country. Liberalism, believing in individual freedoms and a small government. And socialism, believing in a utopian society where everything was shared then the whole society would benefit.